Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Letitia Taylor Art. My name is Letitia Taylor, and I'm a digital artist who loves to create art featuring cute animals, monsters, and original characters. I'm thrilled to share a brief summary of my artistic journey with you today. As a digital artist, I run my own art blog, and I also run my own online art store. It's where I sell uh, coloring pages, art prints, greeting cards, and plenty more. I also have a couple of side art projects that take up my spare time and they help keep my days more creative when I'm out of ideas uh, or when I don't have any projects that align with Letitia Taylor Art, the brand, at that time. The reason I made this channel is to connect with other artists art business owners, upcoming younger artists, and of course, my potential audience. And if you've been following me, you would know that this is probably maybe the third time that I've tried to launch the channel, but I think I've got it this time. This channel is going to be a resource for artists and a place where I talk about my own art business, the progress that I've made, and where I want my business to go in the future. You'll see days in my life, various art related discussions and behind the scenes content of my art business. In today's video, we're diving into how I became a digital artist. Uh, so I will be sharing how I got started, what inspired me and why I'm pursuing this turbulent but rewarding business. So let's get to it. My journey as an artist first started when I was a young child like many others. Growing up, I was deeply inspired by anime, video games, fabrics, pottery, you name it. If it was pretty, I probably liked it. If it was weird, I loved it. Uh, there were anime shows like Card Captor, Sakura, Sayuki, Sergeant Frog, Hikaru no Go, and Inuyasha, which... I was definitely into, along with like Yu-Gi-Oh, really loved Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and basically, as soon as I knew those existed, I would spend hours drawing characters and scenes from these shows, dreaming of creating my own stories one day. Uh, my love for art also extended to video games such as Lunar 2, Eternal Blue, Star Ocean, The Second Story, Final Fantasy VII, Mega Man, Darkstalkers, Mortal Kombat, and many more. These games not only entertained me, but also inspired my artistic style. I was absolutely freaking obsessed with these games when they came out, and I even keep their character design art on my growing mood slash inspiration board that I've been trying to cultivate. The intricate designs of say the costumes and you know jewelry were amazing and also the compelling stories on the jrpgs definitely sparked my creativity and pushed me further and made me want to improve my skills as an artist even at a young age in addition to anime and games i found a lot of inspiration in european metal music the intense emotions and vivid imagery in some of the lyrics resonated with me and helped influence my art. I would often draw while listening to my favorite bands, letting the music guide, say, like my digital pen. Uh, one of my favorite metal groups is Blind Guardian, and I also particularly enjoy Roy, Roy Khan, formerly from Camelot, and who is now back in this group called Conception. Love the guy. But anyway, despite my early love of art and having even gone to college for the fine arts, I unfortunately stepped away from pursuing any art career for over a decade. Didn't even touch art. Life took me in a completely different direction and I pursued other interests and I guess career paths. Though those paths didn't really lead anywhere and I found that they were not really important to me either. However, my passion for art never really left. 
After years of feeling unfulfilled, I realized that I needed to return to my creative roots. Picking up my cheap drawing pen and a bamboo tablet uh, was definitely the turning point. I decided that I didn't want to live my life without pursuing my passion, which was art. It hasn't been easy to start over, but I definitely knew that it was one of the only things that would truly make me feel happy and fulfilled, unlike any day job that I've ever worked. Starting my own business was both exciting and daunting. I had a vision of creating a space where I could share my work with the world and connect with people who love art as much as I do. I began by setting up an online store and even a blog. Uh, the store is where I sell my art prints, coloring pages, greeting cards, and more. I'm probably going to add like bookmarks and stuff, but anyway, there was also the blog. And that's where I talk mostly about my art journey and how I've gotten to the point that I'm at. And the journey, it, it's, been, it's been challenging. Say, from figuring out how to market my products to managing the logistics of shipping and figuring out how to design products that people may enjoy, not guaranteed. Uh, there's been so many things I've had to overcome and I'm still trying to overcome. But you know what? Every step has been a learning experience. And it's extremely rewarding to see my business slowly grow over time. Because I'm definitely working on building up this business and I'm constantly setting new goals for myself and trying to find new ways to reach more people. Whether it's through social media, collaborations, or even new product launches that people just kind of see. I'm always looking for ways to connect with my audience and share my passion for art. Another challenge that I had for a long time was that I didn't really feel supported in my artistic endeavors. It, it wasn't until I was in my 30s that I really felt like I could pursue art seriously. Before that, I felt like friends and family maybe didn't care too much about my art, and I took it personally. I thought, you know, because they didn't like it, I was a terrible artist and that I could never make it. And you know what? Thankfully, I've grown up and things have changed. Uh, not only do my friends and family now support me, which has made a huge difference. Uh, their encouragement has given me tons of confidence to pursue my dreams and to build up my art business. I've learned that it's never too late to follow your passion and that the support of loved ones can make a world of difference. And that is basically the condensed version on why I'm here talking to you now and why I am pursuing art and running my own art business. Building this business has definitely been challenging and is still challenging, but there is a lot of reward that I have found. And I am so grateful for everyone that has been supporting me throughout all of the social media platforms that I am on. Um, and I'm grateful towards you now, you, the listener here on YouTube. Um, and also, since you're here, I would totally love to hear about your art journey. So if you're an artist, please comment below and share your story or let me know if you're thinking about even starting an art business or if this is a hobby for you. Also, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, yada yada, and keep on creating and following your passions. So till next time, stay passionate and follow your dreams.